it's your boy Theo here and come back with another video and today I'm going to be reviewing the shock visor this is the clear um, clear one clear visor uh, as you can see it says it says clear clear um, so yeah I'm gonna be reviewing this and yeah uh, hope you guys enjoy and if you do please leave a like and comment down below if I should do some more of this kind of stuff okay thanks okay getting straight into the review um let's unbox this it is as you can see it comes with its very own case um provides the clips the stickers and a little card that you should look okay i'm just gonna have the camera there Okay, so let's look at the actual visor itself. <coughs> okay, so this is the visor. Um, now, it has a anti-fog coating, hydrophobic coating. Well, the anti-fog is so when you're breathing really heavily, you don't. It doesn't fog up from the inside. Hydrophobic coating is, I think, um, the rain it doesn't get all stuck to it. And the shatterproof high-impact plastic is if you get hit with it, with the shock visor in your helmet, then you won't. It will not shatter. Also, UV 400 protection. So it's got a 5% mirror tint, uh, or 5% tint, not mirror, um, but that's all that the league or Pop Warner which I play in will allow 5%. Now, I do have an Under Armour visor which I have on my Adel Speedflex. Um but let's get into the visor clips. I'm I'm sure you've all seen the um Under Armour visor, but this is these clips are a bit different. As you can see, they look nothing like the um uh, Under Armour visor clips. Um, in my opinion, they are s sort of better because you you um, they're not as big and as bulky. But I just don't like these back part back clip parts. I do like how they don't come with like the label on the front. Now you can ha you can it these are for if. Um, hold on, let me pull up a picture. Just pulling a picture. In this picture, you can clearly see that it doesn't have, um, something underneath it like this, where you can just use, um, something like this. You actually have to have this, so you can actually have, like... Like you put the clips over the helmet, um, helmet, uh, uh, face mask, and then you put it together like a normal, like you normally would. Okay, so that's practically it about the visor clips. Now, the shock visor is a is a bit different from the Under Armour visor. Um, I actually think it looks a bit better, just because of um that these right here, these upper parts don't jut out like the Under Armour visors and um, of how um, it just looks, I just like how it looks to be, to um, in general. Okay, so I'm gonna go get my Under Armour visor. Now, I used this all last season, so it's kinda scratched up, but let me adjust my there we go as you can see it's kind of scratched up um, this does not have the 5% mirror tint as the shock visor but you know it got me through the season now I did I'm gonna be um, changing the color of this um, to like a silver um, as you can see, the difference, it would normally go like this, 
but instead it this it just goes over it so I don't like about this part that's the only thing I don't like um yeah the Under Armour visor is pretty thin well it just feels thin and the shock visor actually feels a lot thicker um so you for each visor you really don't want to um leave it face down or always have it in the bag um, but I don't think my Under Armour visor came with a bag to be honest with you so I've just been keeping it on my helmet last year 24-7 and never taking it off um, but I'm gonna take this off this because I now have two visors this one's gonna be my practice visor because it's all scratched up and this would be my game visor because it's brand new um, never used it in, like, a real football game with pads. Um, I mean, I've used it to, like, practice and stuff, but that's about it. Also, with its 40, 400, um, UV protection, um, it's going to be better in a game just situation because it's going to be really sunny out. Um, that's mainly it about the, um, visors. Um... You know, I'm not, um, support, uh, sponsored by any of these companies, so just don't, whatever, but, um, a lot of people don't like how the Under Armour visor goes right up to the edge of the face mask, um, I actually like that, um, but the thing with the shock visor is that it does not go all the way, it's kind, it, it's, it kind of, it's kind of in back, like this far back. I don't like about that, but it's it's okay. So yeah, watch out for the um, Riddell Speedflex um, review someday in the future. And that's about it. So thanks.